Wall Street's Trader Talk. Today we have a new guest on the show, Peter Tuckman of QMS. You might even recognize Peter as he's known as the Einstein of the New York Stock Exchange. Peter, thank you so much for coming on today. Welcome. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you today? I'm okay. We have quite a day here. We have quite a day, and if something, someone's going to figure things out, I'm going to leave it to the Einstein because we just can't wrap our heads around what is driving this market. First, we thought it was resilience to political turmoil. Now we're seeing a possible reaction to that, or is there some other developing story we're not giving credit to? You know what? It's funny. The, you, you would have thought in old times all of the sort of the, the volatility and the uncertainty of the new administration would have made this market sell off already. That By now, we would have seen some of the vulnerability cause this market to sell off. All the crazy headlines coming out of Washington, and it hasn't, okay? But what we didn't sort of realize was eventually, that people's fear and uncertainty and the vulnerability of the administration, which is sort of what it feels like today, is going to affect the market, and it has. It finally broke. You know, this market has been incredibly resilient. It's, it's, it's found a new foundation at 21,000, the Dow, all-time high in the S&P, NASDAQ, the tech sector, you know, the earnings, it was a good earnings season, but still, it seemed totally divorced from what's going on in Washington. Eventually, that stuff will get people to start wondering whether, you know, is it, is it just chatter or is it real and is he vulnerable? And that's what it feels like today. Well, one of the losing, the biggest losing sector today is the financials. And actually, year to date, it has underperformed along with materials. Would you say today is a good idea to get into this before we get this assumed rate hike from the Fed in June? You know what, I'm not sure if this is, you know, people uh, tend to react in the financial, you know, look, is he going to pass his agenda at all? If he's vulnerable, does that, is that going to dislocate all of his agenda, right? Financial is one of the big things that this market has been rallying over, right? Is interest rates going the right way and the regulations and taxes and all that stuff? And so that sector has been what's sort of carried the, the rally initially. And so if he is in fact vulnerable, that's the sector that's going to get hit first. So I think that's where this is coming from. Okay, so do you have a message for the shorts out there or do you agree with them? You know what? The shorts have been in a lot of pain for the last number of weeks. This market has hit all new highs for about a month and a half. After that initial you know, post-election rally, this market has flatlined off of a high, super high level, technical and a strong market. So there's always people shorting this market at different levels. They shorted at 19,000, 20,000, 21,000 the Dow. These guys have not been able to get any relief. Every little sell-off has been rebuffed by a larger rally. This is the first sort of break we've seen in months. So, you know, I, whether this holds and it breaks down and the shorts are being patient and they're going to start buying them back, or are there so many people short this market at this high level that people are going to start chipping away, which I kind of think they're going to start to do now. All right, Peter. Well, it was so nice to have you on the show. We hope to see more of you. Be happy to be here. All right. This is the Vaz on location reporting live from the New York Stock Exchange.